Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Vulture. Figure I never had, but always wanted. So, I'm really ex excited to show this to you guys, finally. It's, it's a pretty darn good figure. Uh, you know, it's not perfect, and obviously I got it secondhand, so some of the joints are a little bit loose, but it is a darn good figure. Let's give him a height measurement real quick. He stands roughly six and a half inches tall, which makes him just about 16 and a half centimeters. Obviously he's molded in mostly green plastic, but he does have kind of like a, a I'm not sure if it's a dry brush over a darker green or kind of like a wash on top of the lighter green, but either way, there is paint detail throughout the entire figure to complement that really nice sculpt work, which this is all sculpted, by the way, all of these lines are sculpted, so that's really cool. And then obviously on the wings, very nice sculpt work and paint work to go with it. This feathery thing around his neck, also sculpted and painted very nicely. Really pleased with that. And then on top of that, we have a really nice head sculpt. Very nice sculpting on there. And then also very nice paintwork. This is what Marvel Legends should be. Should be now, should have always been. They weren't always this good, obviously. But a lot of the time we did get really nice figures like this. So it'd be nice to get them like that once again. As far as articulation goes, the head has a swivel and a hinge, so you can move his head around pretty much however you need. Can't quite get it all the way up for a pure flight pose, but I don't think you really need to. It does look up and down pretty nicely though. Full range of motion on the ball hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow gives you a little bit better than 90 degrees. We do have a wrist swivel. Unfortunately, it comes back here, back behind where the wing is connected, so the wrist cannot swivel independently from the wing, but we do get a wrist hinge and a finger hinge on top of that, which is pretty useless, but it, it is there. The wings do kind of fold over themselves so that you can straighten the arm out. It's not the best situation, but it's probably acceptable, especially given the time period that this came out. You can still get them in some pretty cool poses, and it still looks pretty decent. As far as the ab crunch, you don't get a whole lot of range, but you do get that far forward, and pretty much straight up and down, so it's pretty limited, but the sculpt work is pretty good, so I guess that's another trade-off. Waist has a full swivel, no problem. Right there, it's a little stuck because it's an old figure that's been kicked around probably for a while. Uh, wide jointed hips, but there's a good enough range and the thigh swivel in there so that they're plenty effective. No problem at all with that. Really good range of motion, no problems at all. And if you'll notice, sure they don't have quite the right anatomy compared to the current legends, but you get so much better range of motion. I would love to go back to the old ball hinge style. I think it's just probably a little bit more expensive and it doesn't look quite as good, but I do prefer it. As far as the knees go, we have a full double jointed knee with really good range. No problem at all there. We do have a boot swivel. If for those of you that like that, really nice ankle joint goes all the way forward, pretty far back and a toe hinge. Technically, there's a tiny bit of an ankle rocker, but it is uh, essentially useless, so don't even count that. So it's not by far the best figure in the world, but it is definitely a pretty darn good one, and I'm super pleased to finally have it. And I think most of you would be happy to own a figure like this, too, so I do recommend it 100%. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.